Yet another way to control the UCS display is via the use of properties. Here we've simply selected the UCS icon in this viewport and we can see that the UCS icon is on. It is displayed at the origin, which is on this planar surface of this part here. There is a UCS per viewport, which means this viewport can have a different UCS than any other viewport, namely this one on the right, and that we have here selected from a right-click context menu like this, and we've selected this as the end cap named UCS. So that UCS name cannot be edited from a drop-down here, but it is shown to you display purposes only. So again, the thing to watch out for here is that if a UCS per viewport is set to yes in this viewport, and the context is in this viewport because that's where I've selected the icon, then this viewport can have a separate UCS system than the other one. If you do not want to have independent UCS systems in different viewports, then you will have to go here, select no. You will then have to go to the other viewport, select the icon here, and also select no. When that happened, you could actually see over here that the UCS moved from the end cap and moved up here to the top of cap system, which is what was current in the right hand viewport. So there you have it, pretty easy to control the UCS icon via use of the properties window.